and I produced the last four videos concerning the teaching of handwriting in primary schools. The next video is about calligraphy, looking at its origins and the different styles. All these videos are linked to the Christopher Jarman scheme, exclusive to NAEP. More details on our website. Any comments you have, please post below. Thanks very much. Now this video is very brief, humble introduction to calligraphy, tracing its origins and examples, which could be described as the art of lettering. Now Christopher Jarman did write a section on calligraphy, both in an old teacher's book on the Jarman scheme, edition one and two, and the Osroyd book of calligraphy, now only by second hand. There is a second book he wrote, published by A&C Black, called Fun with Pens, but that is no longer in print either. I will be drawing on the first two books detailing calligraphy and how you can practice to be skilled at this subject. Calligraphy is a subject which spans over 10 centuries and more, as monks or scribes wrote and illustrated holy works. Luckily, we can see examples of these books, which took years to handwrite in our museums and cathedrals today. With the advent of the printing press invented by Johannes Gutenberg in the 15th century, the mass production of books was of course possible. This meant that illustrated books were no longer confined to church or palaces, but available to the masses. Now, the writing instrument that dominated for the longest period in history, indeed over a thousand years, was the quill pen. It was introduced in Europe around 700 AD and the bird feather lasted for only a week because it was necessary to replace the quill. And of course, to write, you had to keep dipping the nib end into a pot of ink. The invention of the rudimentary fountain pen or reservoir pens came about in 1827 by a Roman inventor called Petrach Ponero. Now he invented a pen which received a patent from the French government for a fountain pen and it was comprised of a large swan quill. Lewis Edison Waterman refined this invention of story of ink with the invention of a capillary feed fountain pen. Ink pens today are used either using a cartridge or the use of a small rubber bladder in the barrel. Of course, how thick the line is depends on the width of the nib. And we talk in nib terms of medium, 2B, 4B and so on. In 21st century schools, the era of pupils owning pen and ink with a variety of different types of nibs, depending on the style of writing, has appeared to have ended. Happily, you can still purchase calligraphy sets of ink pens and italic felt pens from several online shops quite easily and cheaply. Here is an example of a set bought from a well-known online shop. Interestingly, this set comes with practice paper, guidelines and an example book to copy and practice. If you're going to use ink pen, be prepared for inky fingers though. If you do not fancy you or your child getting too inky, do not despair. You can purchase felt pens with sculptured nibs. Over time, there's been a variety of different handwriting styles. The Roman hand is sometimes called the 10th century Winchester. The Gothic or black letter style, sometimes called Oldie English, was very popular in the Edwardian and Victorian era. It can still be seen used today to give an Oldie world feeling, such as a heading for a well-known newspaper. The copper plate style was, according to Christopher Jarman, originally used to engrave copper plates for intaglio printing. Here the images of text are incised into a surface and the incised line or sunken area holds the ink. Now this was very popular and was used extensively in the 19th century. 
Calligraphy continues to flourish in the forms of wedding invitations, event invitations, original hand-lettered logo design, religious art, announcements. It is also used for props and moving images for film and television, testimonials, birth and death certificates, maps and other written works. Now, calligraphy pens write with nibs that may be flat, round or pointed. For some decorative purposes, multi-nib pens, still brushes, can also be used. Now we're going to concentrate on the formal italic hand. Italic writing or italic type is essentially a cursive font based on a stylized form of calligraphic handwriting. Indeed, we can change a large number of computer fronts to be italicized. That is to write in italics. To write in italics does require a great deal of practice, patience and fine motor coordination to gain a pleasing result. Many who write in italic writing stylize further to personalize their writing. To assume the writing position. Sit upright with your feet resting flat on the floor, forearms resting on the table. Now right-handed writers slant paper slightly to the left and left-handed writers slant to the right and sit at the end of the table, as illustrated here. Hold the pen between your thumb and forefinger, resting it on your middle finger near the large knuckle. Now with an italic nib, it needs to rest at 45 degrees to the writing line to allow thick and thin lines to be generated. Now my suggestion is, once you have inserted the cartridge and got the ink flowing through the central slit of the nib, practice thick and thin strokes first. And the rules for correct joins are no joins before ascenders, no joins after descenders, no joins for capital letters, and avoid all loops.
Thank you for watching this video on calligraphy. Later on this year, I am planning to do a few more handwriting videos, but this time I'll be joined by an experienced teacher who has held workshops for teachers on how to teach this essential skill. However, the next series of videos concentrate on caring for the environment, tips on how a primary school could be led so it can become an eco school. I will be joined by a primary school teacher who has gained a number of national awards with this school on increasing the awareness of the children in caring for the environment and also how he was able to include adults in the local community in this quest. Please don't forget to click the like, subscribe and notify buttons. Thank you very much.